Hello, today we're talking about the Swiss triplet. Okay, the Swiss triplet, uh, the way the rudiment looks, just like this, based on triplets, of course. <clears throat> one and a two and a one and a two and a one and a two and a. Okay, right, right, left, right, right, left, right, right, left, right, right, left, or left, left, right, left, left, right, left, left, right, left, left, right. Okay, so basically, I'm just gonna play the rudiment for you. Um, slow to fast to slow, starting with the right hand. Okay, left hand. Okay, my left hand is obviously my weaker hand. I can't go as fast. Um, so anyways, uh, Swiss triplet, I've, I found it used in many rudimental pieces, rudimental solos and that. Um, I've, always, I've always had it written doing, using the right hand uh, sticking, right hand lead. Um, so, but in my mind, you should always try to um, do right hand or left hand lead with everything, just to, just to make yourself better with technique. So anyways, okay, let's break down the rudiment. Um, single hand, okay? Put one hand on your leg, one hand on the drum. Okay, once you learn what the hand is doing, then you can kind of air, air the other hand, if it helps you. Still play the rudiment. Slow to fast, slow. Okay, it's just a double, right? Except for uh, it's it's in place in triplets rather than um, duplets. Okay, so left hand. Okay. Okay, so what do you have there? You have doubles on each hand, right? Something you practice all the time with your double stroke roll. So that's breaking down a Swiss triplet. A uh, Swiss triplet then really is a lopsided uh, or a sloppy double stroke roll, or just where one stick is kind of overlapping into the other stick's territory. So instead of you have If I just overlap those, I ended up I end up playing. Okay, same as a double stroke roll, just just one stick overlapped. Um, it's not exactly the same when you when you really analyze it closely. The right hand is the same. Okay. But I always want to inflect a little bit of an accent on the second note of the left hand. I just think it sounds a little better. I can play without that. It allows me to go faster if I want. But to me, it doesn't give it the same, the same kind of feel without that little inflected accent. Okay. So, anyways, that's there. That's how you can practice the Swiss triplet. There's a couple different ways. Do a, do a double stroke roll and 
object and drag your left hand so it's late. And you can, don't worry about being sloppy or anything. Just, just play with it until you get that, until you get the feel of it. Then all of a sudden it'll click in. So, oh, man, yeah, that's what it feels like. Okay. Same thing with doing it left hand. Okay. So that's a couple of different ways you can approach the rudiment. Um, break it down, practice each hand individually, and then uh, both together. Okay. Um, <clears throat> the the nice thing about Swiss triplets over flam accent pair uh, uh, rudiment. It's the same thing. It sounds the same, right? It's more consistent in its sound because you're not uh, alternating sticks and you can go faster uh, because you're playing doubles. Now I can struggle to play Uh, flam accent that fast, but it's a struggle and it's a lot more stick control involved. Okay, so um, All right, that's the rudiment have fun practicing it and uh, talk to you later